I'm Ramon. And this guy didn't catch my speech fully on. So, guys, where's the rest of the pages? Hold on, so, hold on. That was when me and Edgar made it official. But, I'm not gonna. Hold on, hold on, guys. Bring that freshman here. The first time I laid eyes on Edgar was when he was holding his dad's hand. Hold on, guys. And I didn't know he had a twin, George. It was the first time I walked into Walmart with my mom and I was holding her hand. And I was like, damn. And there was Edgar and George. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, guys. You guys don't even know the story yet. Damn, look at those cowboys. And there was a cowboy and a cowgirl. And it was George and Edgar. And then there was cowboy boots, cowboy belts, cowboy hats, and cowboy shirt. Damn, boy! Whoa! And then I said, I choose you, but not just yet. And then senior year came, and that's when we made it official. Edgar wasn't that type of boy that would always be out. And I'd be like, I would like be, man. I'd be always all out. And then Edgar, why aren't you out? Like, my parents don't let me out. All right, all right, all right, man, it's all right. And then all of a sudden, hold on. His manhood came. He'd always be out and I'd be like, whoa, let me catch up to that guy. And then, Rosarito came. Rosarito came, guys. And then it was four of us. It was Edgar, me, and two other guys. Zuli's brother. It wouldn't. No, sorry, no details. But it wouldn't be a trip if we wouldn't have got arrested twice. I said no details. Oh, sorry, guys. All right. Edgar didn't get arrested, but I got arrested. Nah, no, just kidding, guys. We both got arrested. And then, I had $30 hiding in my sock, right leg, right here. And I was like, so, do I take out the money or not? And Edgar was like, no, just hold on, hold on. And then the guy took out his baton and was like, boom. Whoa. So I pooped my chonies. <laughs> and Edgar was nervous. And, uh... Zuli's brother was nervous, and uh, I was like, so do we give him the money or not? Hold on, hold on. And they were like, all right, just give him the money. I'm like, all right, here he goes. And then, so, I only had 30 bucks, guys, so uh, it's cheap business, but he got us out of jail. So, that's when we knew Rosarito was cheap. So we got out, we got out. Everybody was cool. Yeah. That was the night before, it was a Saturday. And I was like, so, oficial, tenemos más 30 dólares. And uh, they're like, no, pues estos morros son codos. Y bueno, no trae ni viejas. Y dije, no, pues, serio? And then he kicked us out. So. I'm not ever going to forget that moment with Edgar getting arrested twice. Oh. And uh, Hector getting arrested for the second time. <laughs> so, ah man, great memories. Not only has Edgar been a best friend, but an older brother to me. And uh, never going to forget that. He's overwatched over me. Not only am I happy for you, but I'm happy for you, Vivian. I'd cry right now, but... I guess that Dorothy, so he's holding, my, he's holding my hand, he's holding my hand, so I wish you guys the best, and uh, I know that you guys are going to make each other happy, and hold on, uh, I forgot one more important part, yeah, thank you, thank you, right after Rosarito, after he brought you the te amo that you have in that bathroom right there, you know what I'm talking about, he told me. I need to have a talk with you. And I was like, damn, you gonna ask me to get married or what? <laughs>
<laughs> he was making me nervous right there. I was playing and stuff, but now he's like, I think I'm going to get serious. And I'm like, whoa, with me or what? <laughs> Again. And then he was like, no, I'm going to get serious with Vivian. I'm like, man, am I going to have to share him with you? All right. So then that's when I knew that he was being serious about you. That was three years ago. And look at us now, three years later. And you're the one for him. So congratulations, guys. Love you both. Wish you the best.